Alrighty then, so, time for another Here's My Video, and now, we're gonna talk, this is gonna be a part of a series about life support, because I feel like I should do that. Um, so this life support system, if you're, we're doing, um, Space Build 3, uh, so if you're going to do life support for anything, if you're gonna use any power or anything, you need a resource node. Um, it might work for some things without a resource node, but it's really not meant to, so I would just always use resource node. So, you click on the resource node, there's a bunch of different kinds that do all sorts of things, and then there's a number after them, and that number is their range. So, for example, this thing has a really long pipe, um, and I, and, and... <coughs> ah. <coughs> Excuse me, alright. Anyway... Like I was saying, it has a really long pipe, and it has a range of 1024, so anything that's within a range of 1024 of this node, you can link to it. I'll explain how linking works in a second here. Um, so, uh, let's say we have a storage device. Storage device is anything that holds resources. This thing here is a water tank. So then if you use smart link on here, because generally I use smart link. Actually, I'm not going to use the, the this, this one, because I don't really like how it looks. I, I, I almost always use the large node. The Legend of 2048 because it has a ton of range and it looks just fine. So anyway, whoops, if I get up the Smart Link tool. If you left click on this, you'll notice it turns blue. You left click on all the things you want to link to it and then you right click on the thing. If you want to deselect it, you press reload. You do not left click again because that doesn't work. Um, ugh. Oh, you can also link um, like chairs to it and then if you do, they will have life support. Which is the easiest way to get life support. You just link some resources to a node, then you link a chair to a node, and then the chair takes the resources. Um, right, so anyway. Uh, what else are we going to talk about? Alright, there are also generators. I'm just going to give you like a basic overview. This is a water generator here. Um, so it'll work, it has to be in water. And all the generators, pretty much, unless they produce power themselves, of course, they consume power. Um, let's see, special devices. These are things like, like info screens, which... If I choose one and spawn it, it's like, you know, a screen. Um, and you can use it to display information about the life support. Like, like the status of your life support. Terraformers, uh, these will, like, ref refresh the... So, essentially, you give them stuff, and then they will give, will give you stuff back. It's pretty much what you'd expect from a terraformer. Um, environmental control, this is for, like, not dying. Um... <laughs> So a climate regulator will, like, produce life support in a small bubble around you, which is pretty, pretty, you know, useful and stuff. Uh, so, that's actually gonna be it for this tutorial. It's just a basic overview. So pretty much, you have resources, you link them to a node, and then the node will just distribute them throughout the network. So anyway, thanks for watching, and goodbye.